Buongiorno listeners, join Coco, our Silla Shipdog, on an exciting mentoring journey at Chino Villa Ticino, guided by Regula Botta. Before we dive in, let's learn about mentoring and its natural utilization for dogs. Mentoring, the search for a person based on smell, showcases dogs' incredible abilities. Originally from the USA, bloodhounds were the pioneers of mentoring, demonstrating the incredible potential of dogs in locating people. Today, dogs worldwide are trained as man trailers, able to follow tracks several kilometers long. Man trailing works by tracking a person's unique odor using items like a t-shirt or a sock. Dogs like Coco can follow the human trace with precision. Mentoring taps into dogs' instincts, providing a fulfilling activity that strengthens the bond between dog and handler. Can your dog become a mentorer too? Absolutely! From small pincer to big red band, every dog has the potential to excel in mentoring. Grab your furry friend for an exciting mentoring adventure! All right, Coco, it's time for our big mentoring expedition. Are you ready? Now buckle up for Coco's thrilling adventure at Chino Villa Ticino, the Pura Dog School guided by Rugula Botta. So, to kick things off, we need to gather our supplies. I've got the long leash, the well-fitting harness, some tasty treats, and most importantly, the sand sample of the person we're searching for. Now, let's start with the basics. Regula has set up the trail with sand markers along a street, allowing Coco to practice following the sand without distraction. And remember, I'm not just Coco's handler. I'm also his interpreter. I need to pay close attention to Coco's body's language and signals to guide us along the trail effectively. Now, with our start signal Lavoro to begin and the word found to sniff the sand and start following it, it's time to put our skills to the test. With the third person hiding, we let Coco sniff the sand article and set off on our mentoring journey. However, it's not always smooth sailing. As Coco's handler, it's my responsibility to ensure he stays on track. Sometimes he pauses to relieve himself and I must guide him back to the trail. Mm. Other times, distraction like cats or other dogs can lead him astray, requiring me to maintain his focus. Uh -uh. Plus, there's the challenge of navigating through traffic and other obstacles. It's a real test of teamwork and concentration. And let's not forget, sometimes Coco gets confused with the direction of the sand because his sense of smell can lead him in various directions. In those moments, Coco may need to make a circle. By allowing him to make a circle, I allow him to reorient himself and pick up the correct sand trail again. This technique allows Coco to rely on his instincts and help us stay on track during our mentoring journey. And guess what, listeners? Coco nailed it. He found the third person by stopping in front of her and looking directly at her. Of course, Coco was rewarded with delicious treats and plenty of compliments. From our starting point in the easy parking lot through the winding streets and alleys of Agno and Caslano, Coco navigated the trail like a true professional. Bravo, Coco! What 
an adventure, Coco. We make a world called something, don't we? Stay tuned, dear listeners, for more exciting escapades with Coco and me as we continue to explore the world of mentoring together. Until next time, this is Junita Arnel signing off. Woof, woof, oh!